Um, hi there, my name's Ryan and I am a member of Cornish Airsoft Operations and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Classic Army G36K. Um, first of all I'll talk about the build of this gun. It is uh, made with polymer plastic so it comes pretty close to the real thing. Um, it is, has a built-in sight and has an inner metal barrel uh, also plus a metal flash hider. Um, you, there are, you can buy rails for this weapon so you can have attachments. Uh, it has a foldable stock, uh, that's pretty handy. Um, I always felt like it made the gun look pretty silly. Um, one Hi, this is a uh, made from Classic Army, so you expect really good build quality of this, and uh, they really show this in the weapon. Um, it uh, has uh, a metal bolt, um, metal, uh, you know, screws. Um, Apart from that, it is uh, polymer plastic, but again, it is not the cheap stuff that will break as soon as you fall on it. Um, so we'll talk about the interior quick, because I'm. Uh, this is only a quick review. Um, first of all, uh, the battery housing has got to be one of the worst things in my entire life. If you want a con of this weapon, this is it. Uh, the battery housing, I've always found, has never held the battery um, at all well, and if it does, it always allows the front cover to go on, uh, you won't be able to put it on uh, at all. I mean, this is with a battery. Um, also, uh, the hop-up is adjustable, thank, thank God for that. Uh, it is a plastic wheel on the inside uh, of the bolt handle. Uh, the fire select switches um, are metal, and obviously you do have the nice standard safe, uh, semi-automatic or fully automatic. Um, uh, and now I'm going to talk about the optics. Uh, it is a tunnel sight uh, ACOG style scope. Uh, it is built in, so it looks very pretty on the gun. Um, I've always found it's one of the best sights I've ever used. Um, I would use this over sniper rifles uh, with you know higher FPS. Um, I found this tunnel sight has always been one of the clearest I've ever used, and probably a one of the closest things to the real uh, gun. With the folding stock, I've always found that um, I've always had it out due to the length of my body. Um, I wouldn't advise using this weapon if you're a, a, a small build, for the pure fact it is a quite a long-ranged uh, rifle. Um, I've always, if you would uh, want to preferably let's go with a similar build quality, the Classic Army G36C um, has always probably been better for a, a lighter body type, um, a smaller body type. Um, this folding stock, there, is, um, there are loads of aftermarket pieces on this gun, we'll talk about the stock. There is a sniper stock, uh, it's a pretty pricey bit of kit, um, and personally it's not to my taste, but uh, uh, it would look pretty nice on a uh, more uh, rifleized type weapon. Uh, there are battery housing covers that uh, have been uh, made metal and a, a form of grill that come in with multiple forms of a uh, railing system, uh, wrist and RAS rails. Um, the magwell is obviously standard of fit. Uh, the most class, uh, most G36 at uh, the airsofting hobby, due to the fact of it is a very pricey nature. Um, you get a perfect build quality with this weapon. Um, it isn't the most highest on for feet per second, but again, if you're good with the uh, hobby, you'll know how to um, increase the power of this weapon. Uh, there are so many cool um, aftermarket pieces for the uh, body um, for this weapon. And again, the, one of the praise my favorite things is the uh, built-in scope on the top here. Looking for a step up from their little two-tone gun and you've got your Yukara license and you have the uh, funds available, I say go for it because you're not, you're not gonna find a more stable um, piece of kit out there. Now Classic Army has the renownedness of its build quality so you're always going to be guaranteed a good weapon. Um, to uh, Tokyo Muora I think is also another another possible uh, and again everyone loves German weapons. Hecklen Cox uh, MP5 um, that I'll do a review on another time whenever I get the chance. That's a Jing Gong one. Uh, but again as I'll say positive, really great build structure, battery housing has always been a pain in the ass, and the feet per second with possible improvements isn't the best standard. And
please like, share and subscribe if you want. Uh, and follow us on Facebook in the description below. I will also put descriptions for the actual weapon. Um, and I will also uh, put... Uh, and I will also put the links in below for the uh, aftermarket pieces and some great sites you can buy this off of.